Okay. Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. Um, if we look at the weight shift on the downswing, now I have the information that I'm, I'm about to give you, I have in many of my videos, you'll see this repeat itself a few times, like you go from the one leg back to two, okay? And not all of you have seen that video, and uh, not all of you have seen all of my videos. I understand there's a lot of material out there, but this one here will seal the deal to make sure that you guys understand once and for all how the weight shifts in the downswing. So we know how the weight shifts in the, in the backswing, right? So we just turn. There's no weight shift if my hands are stay, uh, staying right here on my hips as I turn, but if I bring my hands together to take my grip and I toss my hands into the backswing with the turn of the body, like in the takeaway and starting the swing, this inertia of the body, so everything stays steady here, creates centrifugal force out here that'll keep me, give me some nice width in my backswing. This has a weight to it. That's what's going to bring the weight to my right foot, okay? To the inside of my right, my right foot in particular. Now, if you remember the uh, hockey golf video where Steve has the skate on his right foot, and I asked Steve, Steve, go to the top of your real backswing, okay? And uh, the real top of the backswing position is this. So you notice how everything bounced off the right and back into the left. So the weight shift in the downswing happens from behind you, from behind you, okay? Not, I can see a lot of you are getting these beautiful turns in your backswing, but then you're shifting from the front again. Well, by God, you've got 30 to 40 pounds of arms swinging out in front of you, and then that's creating a lot of centrifugal pull that's going to pull you around like a rag doll. If you're trying to shift your weight from in front, you're gone. You're going to be fighting that, that force. Whereas, if you settle it, go back to Bobby Jones. You know, look at Bobby Jones on YouTube, then look at Ben Hogan and watch how they, they plant their left side. Go to Jack Nicklaus, you'll see Jack Nicklaus in his prime. That's how he shifted his weight. You saw the, his, his big muscular butt and legs, boom. Now the whole downswing revolves around that left leg. So this will marry a bunch of the videos that I have on YouTube for you. The feet together drill. So we go feet together. We don't need to plant, we're already planted. That's what makes this drill so easy. So I just toss, fall. Now I've got good impact. One leg drill. This one leg drill will eliminate, it helps eliminate many of the myths about firing the right side. Now I hit the ball every bit as far on one leg as I do on two legs. I hit over 300 yards on a regular basis on one leg. So on that one leg, it's swing, turn. So you notice how my right side's clearing out of the way. My weight stays on the inside of my left foot, left ankle, okay? So everything clears and everything follows. So you notice I cannot thrust with my right side when I'm hitting on one leg. It's a very efficient motion, except that I can't use that on all, in all situations on the golf course. Now, when I put the other foot flat on the ground and I, and I widen my stance, I've opened up a big can of worms. You remember the hammer throw in the Olympics, right? So you've got all this you know, force trying to pull you out, out of your feet. So in the backswing, you're countering this force by sending your butt toward the target. And as this force dissipates, you notice how the arms, they're not gonna pull you this way forever. It's only for a couple of fractions of seconds. So here we go, toss, boom. You plant right back into the left side. That weight shift is about an inch long. So as you fall, now my, my head is always supported by my left leg, my left leg, okay? So as I go back, I come right back to my left leg. Now my whole downswing is supported by my left leg. 
So to do this properly, if you plant, well, no, I feel right now that my head's being supported by my right leg. Well, that's going to be lunge city. Okay? So it's toss and fall. My, my head is supported by my left leg. I still have that tilt. Let everything fall. So you notice how superbly supported my downswing was. And this forces my arm unit back around this axis. Okay? If my axis is not supported properly, if I go to the top of the swing and I swing from here, see what happens to my head? It has a tendency to spin out, has a tendency to lean forward because my lower spine is stuck back here. Now it's very difficult for me to make it back through the golf ball. I'll make it back to the ball. I guarantee you that ball's not going to go where you want it to go, okay? The only time that you can swing through the golf ball is by being on that forward leg. The only time where you won't have any chicken wings through impact here. If you're sitting back here, chicken wing city. Then you're going to get your width through to the finish. So it's toss, fall, fall. There's an exercise for you to perform. Toss, fall, and then fall. And you can hit some shots that way and then put it together in a nice rhythmic waltz rhythm. Okay? So it's toss, fall, fall. Toss, fall, fall. Now we've got a golf swing that's always supported. All right? So I hope that helped you out. And if you have any questions, let me know. That's a good one.